watching Breakfast Television. It is Wednesday. We welcome the London chef, Dan Hayes, who, by the way, yes, you've got the London accent, but you're actually from Victoria. I am. I live in Victoria, but I was born in England, as you can tell from my voice. Yes, exactly. Well, welcome uh, back to Vancouver. We've Thank had you, you on the much. show before. We're going to talk to you a little bit about your inspiring woman in just a moment, yeah. but let's get this fish going. What are we making today? Yeah, so you know what? We're going to Asia, a wonderful slaw, peanut emulsion, and today we're going with steelhead trout, which we'll talk about. You know, it's farm steelhead trout trout very good this is ocean wise steelhead trout and I would have loved to go with tuna but no tuna today go to the store what's good buy it don't go to the store the idea of what you're going oh to get oh my gosh tuna the recipe says tuna what am I gonna do I can't exactly. make it right exactly get what looks good <laughs> and you know this is this is farm fish which I know people worry about here slightly but people worry about farm fish because of the west coast Atlantic salmon aquaculture worldwide typically is very good you know and this is a success story steelhead trout delicious fantastic well that continues I want to just quickly chat with you about International Women's Day because we have been asking our viewers and all of our guests today the women that have inspired them and made a huge impact in their life who is yours mine is my daughter she's only three and a half but oh. wow she Juliet I'm sure you're listening darling and um, she eats everything Absolutely, she's happy to pluck a duck, roast it, and eat it, <laughs> and gnaw on the bones. It runs in the family, gnawing on bones. And to me, that's amazing. At the age of three and a half, you know, eating everything. And that's what food is all about. And it's not just about food, actually. It's interesting, because that actually speaks to courage and wanting to try different things. And, and getting in there with a the family, getting involved. I mean, it used to be everyone plucked a duck, you know? <laughs> but plucking a duck, roasting it, eating it, doing the vegetables, peeling the carrots. She makes pancakes with I just mom. want to hear you say pluck a duck. Okay, let's talk steelhead right now. Okay, so we've got the steelhead going yes. right now. Let's start with the rest of our dish here. Okay, so here we go. We got, you put that in. Cilantro. Okay. Oh, so hold on. This I didn't is a take very this up. smart machine. Cilantro. Okay, right. cilantro. And if people don't like cilantro, then, um, it's then, on one of those dish, you know, yeah, ingredients. If you don't like cilantro, um, um, don't put it Okay. Right Green onions, <laughs> uh, a little bit of chili. Just little, a little. A little oh, bit of chili. That is a lot of chili. A lot of chili. So you said you like I spicy. I do like spicy. I absolutely and love it. And put the garlic in. And garlic, I'll just warn my husband right now. Okay, go ahead. I like you garlic. A date tonight, dear. <laughs> um, some lime juice. Now, here's one for you. I want you to squeeze that as hard as you can, darling, into that. What is this? Just a knob ginger. of ginger? Oh. Hey, wow. why is it so juicy like that? Hey, is that a good trick or what? Yeah, but how, what's the deal? Yeah. How, was it just over and ripe? I don't no, know. Is no, ginger yeah, ripe? A little bit off. When it's off. Yeah, this looks like I've been in my fridge for like a couple of weeks. No, you freeze it. Freeze <laughs> okay. it and defrost it. Great idea. Um, a little nam pla, Thai fish sauce. Some water. Look at that. A little bit of water in there. And some canola oil. You could use peanut oil, but peanut oil these days, everyone's allergic to peanuts. Right. So be, you know, all that. Um, and we're ready to go. Put the lid on and give it a bit of a... And this is one of those dishes like we're, you know, we're still struggling with getting our spring weather. I know we haven't officially started spring. But we're Kind of getting in that mindset of getting into that healthy fare. So this is one of those dishes that is kind of that feel good. Yeah, yeah, lighter, lighter food, right. spring food. And you know what we do is we take this little dressing, which we should taste to check it's okay, but we won't, and we mix it into you this. You just trust straw. me that. I trust you. What you did was perfect. <laughs> right. You know. It's just called dump. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Dump, it in. Yeah, dump yeah. it in. Mix yeah. it with your hands, of course, because they're the best tool in the kitchen. Mix it in there. You see. Um, you know, this is a pretty simple sort. I'm sure if you're keen and energetic, you could put some more exciting stuff in this. But we went with cabbage, bit of kale, some carrots. Put that down there. This looks very professional. Put this down there. You see, it's fast. You can come home from work and be eating light, healthy, fresh food literally 10 minutes after yes. walking in the door. And that, to me, is what it's all about. If you lift those two platters up onto the wooden board, very good, there we go. Yeah. Now the fish, what you're going to see, we didn't touch it, the pan's been off, beautiful brown crust. You see that? And you don't want to overcook. So no, just know, on the bottom, it's just a little bit under. So the best way to tell, just by looking at it, I mean, obviously you got the bit of a crust, but you do notice, and if we maybe show one of the ones that's flipped, yeah, yeah, yeah. you notice that there is a little bit of the of the pink in there, right? Absolutely. And nice and soft pink. Chefs call it on the point. And the fact of the matter is, this fish, we could eat raw. There's no danger whatsoever with this fish eating it undercooked. Um, far better to have it under than over. For people that have never had steelhead, yes. what, is it? Is it a salmon? Is it part of the same? family. A steelhead technically is an ocean going rainbow trout. It's a salmonoid, it's part of the salmon family and you know when it comes to fish 
get educated about what to buy. This is farmed fish, it's aquaculture, it's really good. Some wild fish is amazing, some farm fish is amazing. And um, albacore tuna, for example, is one of the cleanest fisheries in BC, it's wonderful. And um, there's some very good wild fish that's caught really sustainably, and there's some very bad wild fish. But tuck in, have a bite of this. I'm gonna tuck in and have a bite of this. Thank you so much, Dan Hayes, for more details on the London Chef, and really just a little hop across the water, right? Uh, Absolutely. Make your way to Victoria, thank and you so also, much. See Season three, Moose Meat and Marmalade. Just about to start filming it. Very excited. How is it? Any good? Delicious. You like that? I'm gonna take a break. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs>